Hello and welcome back to a Daisy King Skyline YouTube tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at reskinning some soda cans. Right, so you will need your P drive mounted and your game data extracted for this to be working. If you haven't done this, there are some videos out there on YouTube. So we're going to head over to our P drive and we're going to create two folders. Okay, so one of them is going to be YouTube tutorial one youtube top one this is going to be our mod folder and we're going to create another new folder called the same name but with an at in front of it so youtube dot one the app folder will be the folder you will be uploading to the steam workshop so inside the app folder we are going to create a new folder called add-ons if you're going to make this a public mod for everyone to use make sure you have a keys folder okay so now we're going to go back to our first folder so the youtube tutorial one folder with the no at sign we're going to create a new folder inside this and we're going to call this one data okay so now we have our folder layout ready we can go back to our p drive so we're going to be looking for the soda cans today these are in dz gear drinks and this is where all the water will be well drinks so inside this config we're going to use this config and we're going to edit this to our uh our little config so we're going to delete the enums right here so we just leave the cfg patches we can take out anything in the cfg uh in the unions here we don't need those i know i can remove bottle base and edible base and I'm going to start from the canteen line just here, which should be either line 14, if we take out this line here. Okay, so this would be line 14. And we're going to delete from this line down until we find soda can. Okay, soda can color base. So we'll delete to there. Okay. Underneath it, we've got soda can Pipsy. We'll keep that. And we'll delete from soda can all the way down. Just leaving the one closing comment there. And we'll remove completely the CFG non-AI vehicles. So now we should just be left with soda can Pipsy, soda can color base, inventory base, and CFG vehicles. Make sure these are closed properly. So if you click this one, it should close to this one. If you click this one, it should close to this one. That's when you know you've deleted the right stuff and this config should be correct. Okay, so now we are looking at our soda can color base, and this is what we're going to be working from because the soda can Pipsy is inheriting from the soda can color base. So what we can do here is we can take this soda can color base and we can replace the inventory base just here with this. And as we can see in our soda can color base, the hidden selections are already defined. So we don't need to define those in our reskin. So now we can just go ahead and delete this soda can color base. We've got what we wanted. We know the information. Okay, so now we're just left with soda can color base as a reference class. And we are left with soda can Pipsy as the class. Okay, so now we're going to edit this so this will be ours so i'm going to call mine uh, soda can dh underscore ale okay and i'll change the display name to dh un, uh, dh space ale and i'm also going to do the same for the description here dh ale removing that Okay, so now we're up to our hidden selection textures. So as we can see, the soda can Pipsy is using the, um, the soda can underscore Pipsy underscore co dot PAA file. So we need to now go and find this file, which we should already be in the folder for. Just need to go into the data folder, scroll down, and you should see soda can Pipsy right here. What we're gonna do now is open up text view we're going to put soda can Pipsy inside the text view so we can see this now. Perfect. Now we need to save as. We can go back to our 
YouTube tutorial one folder. We can go into our data folder. We can change this to .png. So now we can go back to our YouTube tutorial one folder inside our data folder. Now we have a PNG version of the soda can texture. You can open this in any of your editing programs. You can use paint, you can use GIMP, you can use a Photoshop, anything you use to edit some photos. I have some here that I've already edited. So we're going to be using these today. Best way to do this is just to grab this with a magic marker. Make sure everything's selected. Layer via cut, delete the old layer and replace with your picture here and make sure the outside layer is above your layer. Okay, so if you want any more help with this, I do have another video on editing PAA textures. So I have two here today. So we've got this beer, beer Dissazon. I have no clue what that is, but it's an ale. And we also have Maradina Pale. So what you would do, once you've edited your file, so this would be, for me, Soda Can Ale. And to get this back as a PNG, you can go into Text View, open up your texture, and call this .paa. Okay. So now you would have your PAA texture there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these two. I'm going to put my two in here. So I have Soda Gale and Soda Pale. So in our config, I'm going to grab one of these. Soda Gale. And we'll take that from the YouTube there. And we'll paste this in here. So this should look like YouTube tutorial one. So this is our folder our mod folder then we have our data folder and then we have our paa texture okay so i'm going to call this one i'm just going to put a g in front of the ale so i know what ones these are so i know this is the texture gale so to create another second class what we would do is we would look where this closes so this closes from the second to last one we would copy all this we would go new line under the second to last one so we have a new line between the last one and the second to last and we'll paste this new class in as we can see here this closes there our new class starts this closes here and then all of these are closed from cfg vehicles with this so now we have our second one here we're going to want to change the class name this here otherwise there'll be issues when spawning these in so I'm going to change this one to pale as I'm pretty sure that is what my texture is called. Call this DH pale. We'll have a double check for this. Yep. That says pale. So I'm going to copy the name of that and change it here. As we copied this from the last one, this should already be in the right location. <coughs> Sorry. If your texture appears white in game or the texture appears as a vanilla texture if it appears as the vanilla texture either the hidden selections is not called right but as we checked with the soda can color base the hidden selections was white right sorry if it's white it means this texture isn't located in the place that you have told it it is so the best way to get that is when you are at your texture click the top bar and press the uh, backspace or backslash go down to your texture and highlight it up to your mod name don't worry about the p dot slash just your mod folder name and the rest okay so this here matches this here if this is not correct, your texture will appear white in game. Okay, so now we have our config. We're going to want to save this as, and not save, save as, as this could cause problems with the vanilla convicts. So we go to YouTube tutorial one, and inside our data folder, we'll put this right here. So as you can see now, inside 
with our PAA texture files, we now have that config that we just made. This here. We're going to change this CFG patches class that says DZ gear drinks. We're going to change this to DH soda under, uh, DH underscore soda underscore ales. This can be whatever you want. It has to change every config you make. If one config matches the other config, there could be issues. Okay. So now we're going to save this. So this should be completely correct. Let's double check over, make sure we've not missed anything. Yep, that looks good to me. Okay, so now we go back to the folder where it just says data. So I have this config gear that I'm going to drag in. This will be in the download section in the description below. So with this config, we're just going to change anything that says DH template to DH YouTube cut one. Okay, so we're going to change this, this one, this one, and this one is what you would call your mod for Steam and the DayZ. So I call this one DH um, soda can ales. And you set your author I alpha and your author ID. You can set your version so 0 0.1. Okay, and now we can save this config. So now we have an edited config with the data folder and we have an edited config inside the data folder. So now we're ready to build our mod and test it in game. So now we open add on builder. In our add on source directory here, the top one. We'll go to our P drive. As you can see, I've tested this already. So we'll select the whole YouTube tutorial one folder. Now, some people make the mistake of selecting the folder inside the main mod folder. This is not what you want to do. You want to select the whole main mod folder. Okay, so this is the way it should look. P drive, YouTube tutorial one. This is exactly where our mod is. Okay. In this destination directory, we're going to be looking for the at folder that we made. So as we can see here, I've already got it selected. So at the at YouTube tutorial one, and we're going to select on the add-ons folder as the child. So it should look something like this. P forward slash or backslash at YouTube tutorial one forward slash add-ons. We don't need an add-on prefix. So we don't need an add-on version. We can click clear temp folder if this is not clicked and make sure binarize is clicked and make sure binarize all textures is clicked and make sure an ex enable extended login is also selected. So now we're going to head over to our options and we're going to make our list of files to copy directly. Make sure these match the same as mine. These will be in the description below as well. Make sure your path to project folder is set to your P drive. You can change your author just here. So now we're going to go and pack this mod. Now we can see we have build successful here. And if we go up, we find our, our YouTube tutorial one here. We can check inside the add-ons folder and we have a PBO with the size of 704 kilobytes. That sounds about correct. Okay, so now we're going to fire up community offline mode. If you don't have this, we do have another video for you to watch about that too. So I'm going to remove this mod here and show you how to quickly load this in. So you want to come to your mod section with your parameters set to your community offline mode. Come to your mod selection with no mod selected. Hit local mod. And you're going to want to select the whole at YouTube tutorial one folder. Click load mod. As we can see, there's 700 kilobytes here. Now we're going to hit play. Now we're going to wait for DayZ to load, and we're going to see you in game with the reskinned soda cans. So let's bring you back with our game nearly loaded. Thought I'd take a pause there. We'd better to pause the loading screen of the video just in case, because this video is getting quite long now. 
Okay, so now we're here in game. We are loaded with our YouTube tutorial one mod just here. Let's spawn these in. So we know we gave them the prefix DH. So anything DH should be here. There we go. DH scale and DH pale. Spawn these in. There we go. My editing wasn't perfect there, but it wasn't supposed to be. So now we can drink this. Our water should start going up and our food just the same as a normal soda can. And crack this one too. Lovely. So now you just need to sign and upload your mod to Steam Workshop. We do have another video for this. This will be linked in the description below. It should also be in a card if you're in, on a card enabled platform. But this is how we reskin some soda cans. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.